I started with foil and I'm going to make him sit on it. Hello, this is Glenda with Fraylands and Friends Crafts Plus. And today I'm back in here with the clay. I am going to start a raven and if possible finish it. <laughs> So, I'm going to get busy on this raven. I'm going to first make a rock or a stone for him to set on. And then I'll start to sculpt the raven out of wire and then build on from there. bring in that other wire. I'll have to go get it. Boom. Okay, I was showing you. Joe got me all kinds of goodies, but you weren't, I didn't have the camera on. So I'll show you later. I'm going to use this wire to shape, pretty much shape the bird at least give it a basic shape and let's see I'm going to shape the body the head I'm going to pretty much I'm just going to put the head that's a fish that's a fish but this is where I want Use a spiner wire to hold this together.
he's kind of a little heavy for his rock. So, and I still need to bulk him out more. So I'm trying to think what? What do I do with you? I could make it a bigger rock. <laughs> bigger part of the rock it's not <laughs> not part of the bird it's just a bigger part of the rock there now he's rested properly and I'm making a bigger mess
I'm going to have to put a very thin piece over that. Well, here is going back in the oven. He looks, he's still a little flat compared to nature, but he's getting too heavy. And he's going to get more when I add on his skin layer, or feather layer, skin, feather, I don't know. Okay, off you go. Oh, good night, everybody. I hope you enjoyed so far what we've got. I think it might just come out looking like a bird, especially once I do the painting, which will help separate things a bit. So, as the raven said, evermore, <laughs> no, nevermore, We'll let him go out and look for Lenore for the night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Please subscribe, click the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up. A messy, gooey, clay thumbs.